The F1 Esports race about to get underway, and it's a pretty decent start from Freddie Rasmussen on pole position in the Red Bull. David Tonitza alongside him on the run down into turn one. Veers goes to the outside at the first corner in the house. Does he pull it off? They're oh. still side by side coming down towards turn three. Bit of uh, front wing flying from someone. Veers to the outside again at turn three. Can't do anything about it. He needs to be careful because he's got Enzo Benito right behind him in the other Ferrari. Brendan Lee has got him into fifth position, but then spins. I think that was the Mercedes facing backwards. Brendan Lee plummets down the order. The two-time champ out of the running. Freddie Rasmussen in the lead. But we get oh, a bit of a mistake oh. there. Enzo Benito took too much curb on the inside, got out of shape. But luckily for him, Nicolas Longe is 1.2 seconds back. Uh, so he's just about managed to get away with that one. Uh, Sally Saltuk, I think, has made a mistake because Marcel Kiefer has got past him and up into sixth position. Anyone pitting this time around? Tanitza in, Veers in as well. Can Tanitza try and take advantage of that? Here they come, out onto the run towards turn 13. Is Donoso going to defend? He certainly is making Veers go the long way round, and Veers is going to try and go the long way round. What a brilliant move. Floris Veers waiting no time, and he's up into sixth position. But now Freddy Rasmussen and Enzo Benito pit, so we're about to see the battle for the race lead. Can Floris Veers get involved in the fight? David Tonitza lost a little bit of time trying to get past Fabrizio Donoso, who ended up coming into the pits. Where is Rasmussen? There's the Red Bull. No, there's the Ferrari. My apologies. So Rasmussen holds the lead. Veers is second. Tonitza third. Michael Romanides in the Williams has got him into sixth place ahead of Enzo Benito, who has gone from fourth to seventh. Make that eighth in this pit stop window because Longay has got through. He's now got back ahead of Longay, but that's three places lost. During this, no, my apologies, because Suisse and Blakely are yet to pit, have they? But Rasmussen, it is in the lead. V is second, Tonitza third. Then we're on board for Nicholas Longay, and he's tucked in. How much curb dare he take? First part, second part, leaning on it heavily. Doesn't want to be kicked to the inside wall like we saw multiple times in the eSports DRS, but the man ahead of him has it as well. Still late on the brakes and looking for the position. That is bold and that is brilliant stuff from Longay to move up to fifth. Lovely move from the Renault driver. Frenchman up in the fifth spot. And now a Romanides gets done by Marcel Kiefer as well. So two places in three corners lost for the Williams driver. Longay really decisive and he's still within a second of Enzo Benito. Lucas Blakely has joined the fight and Lucas Blakely in the racing point is going to be on the soft combat tyre because he stayed out longer so he might have a chance to take all of these drivers knowing that he's only got a few laps left in which to make that tyre advantage count wow you saw how much more grip he had coming into turn 14 that gives him the inside line for 15 they're going to be side by side through 16 he's got more grip on the soft tyre he's still alongside Sally Salton and Salton has to drop back into the slipstream he'll come back on the attack though down towards turn 1 no he won't so great move from Lucas Blakely on the soft tyres. That starts with Longay. There's a dive to the inside with Lucas Blakely. Again, every single move he's going to make in a non-obvious overtaking position is going to risk the car. But right now, if you're Blakely, you're wanting this one to end in tears. Let's see if it does with Longay trying to go to the inside. Benito trying to stay in that position. He hangs on to fourth for the moment, but he's not been a part of the racetrack that he wants to be in. Can he gather it all together? This is, oh, can he use the advantage there? That's a risky move. Somehow they both get through the corner. Somehow Enzo Benito still in fourth, but look at the two behind, Kiefer and Blakely closing in. Longe goes for it again. We're on board with Marcel Kiefer. Little bit of a nudge between them. Benito holds on to fourth position. Just such great racing in eSports. I absolutely love it. No real racing at the moment, but this is as close as you get, no real world racing, but these guys are really racing hard. It's all the battle for fourth place, and there goes Blakely up the inside of Marcel Kiefer. He's got a great run through 11 and 12. Longe is up into fourth, Benito into fifth, uh, down to fifth. Blakely up into sixth position, and the race leader, Freddie Rasmussen, is about to start the final lap of the race. I think it might be fourth place for the Ferrari driver, unless we see something sensational. That's bold again from Longe, but he hasn't got the track position. Benito hangs on. Oh, Benito's gone wide. Oh, Longe's through up into fourth place. Blakely up into fifth. Benito drops down to sixth.
sixth position. Freddie Rasmussen wins the race. Tonitza across the line in second. Third for Floris Veers. Fourth across the line for Nicholas Longay after a brilliant race. Lucas Blakely, a storming drive up into fifth position. What a phenomenal race. It's good what stuff, an isn't it? Absolutely phenomenal race there. Didn't have a battle for the lead, but we had a battle for every other position there. <laughs> that was absolutely outstanding.